striper, striped bass. Okay. Some people call them rock bass, call them all sorts of things, but really it's a striped bass. So these are fish that are saltwater. Okay. You can catch them off, up. people catch them in Chesapeake Bay, they catch them in California, but they will come in and back and forth out of um, freshwater. Hmm. Years ago, the Department of Fish and Wildlife went to Santee Cooper. Hope Carlton, one of the first hosts for Kentucky Field, was one of the guys who went down and caught them by rod and reel, put them in a truck. Really? Brought them back to Kentucky. Is that That's not cool? That's how we got striper. That's how we got striper. Okay. Now we have them down below the dams. Um, we have them in the lakes. But in Cumberland, you got a bumper crop. Now, I was supposed to go fishing with Roddy the other day. That got ruined, didn't you know, it? We talked about that last yeah. week. Came home at 10.30 after a birthday party. I was supposed to get up at 2. Right. We had sheep looking at us. No dogs. Millie, gone. Maggie, gone. My trip? Got ruined. Gone. But he got to go without you. He got to go without me. He, well, the important thing is right here, the right. fish. So my goal today is now Roddy and Lisa aren't huge fish fans. Okay. So what I'm going to try to do is make them really enjoy striper. Now some people say, well, striper, it's a little strong, this, that, or the other. I'm gonna make them something I think they're gonna like. Restaurant quality grade striper. Yeah. Right here, and it's fairly easy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with this big bag of striper. I'm gonna let you open that, Mrs. Farmer. And I'm gonna cut me some wow. little squares like restaurant size. And these are filleted by Morgan's Guide Service out of Jamestown, Kentucky. Here's Jeremy, is the son, who took these cats out. Now look at some pictures here, if you wanna do this yourself. Here's some pictures of Roddy and his son Jackson with their beautiful fish that they caught. And now we get dinner. Now we get dinner. Yeah. Look at this, look at this. That's a nice fish, now, that's a good looking fish. The thing that's strong on a striper is the red meat. And it looks like Jeremy did a really good job of taking care of that situation. You know what, I'm gonna do four pieces. Let's do one for everybody. Okay. So I'm gonna take a little bit of flour. Okay. You, start, you know where we're going, don't yeah. you, Ms. Farmer? All right, do you remember the recipe that I brought home to you from Maria? That was amazing. The nice lady who has who had the uh, Greek. She's Greek too. That's she's why it's so good. Yeah, that's why it's good. That's right. And she was down around Radcliffe at the time. I think she's moved since then. But she had some wonderful, a wonderful fish recipe, that was a rosemary fish. Remember that that's with the red really wine good. vinegar. So you're doing it kind of like that. Uh, not really. No? Okay. <laughs> but that kind of inspired this recipe. So what we're going to do is take some olive oil. We're going to put in this pan. And we're just going to dredge that lightly in the flour, salt and pepper, and just drop that in there. And we're going to put these, I don't know, two or three minutes per side to get them nice and brown. Don't you think it's a good idea to say, okay, if you've taken a deer or you've taken a fish, now here's a recipe that you can use to make this taste really good. Right. And that's where my old buddy Raoul Dupree came in handy, French chef who showed me a lot of cool stuff. That's what you want it to look like. Isn't that beautiful? Look how, isn't that pretty? Yeah. You don't want to overdo it. You want it to have some moisture inside. You want it to be flaky, but you don't want it to be underdone. All right, now we're going to take this off and set it aside. It's still going to cook internally while it's sitting over here. All those shallot and garlic. We did two large shallots. And three cloves. And three cloves, because we like our garlic. Do you smell that? Smells good. Again, you don't want to burn your garlic because it gets bitter. Now we're just going to get that nice translucent, you know when it's done. It smells good. Doesn't it though? Mm-hmm. Oh, look at that fish sitting over there. That'll look good just by it does itself. Look good. All right, now we're going to take a half a cup of wine. Stir that in a little bit. Let that reduce. Okay, Mrs. Farmer, if you don't mind getting me about a half a cup of lemon juice prepared. Right. All right, at this point, when that's reduced down and see most of the wine is cooked out of there, yeah. we're gonna take that other half a cup of wine. We're gonna put it in there. Let's put a little salt and pepper right. for flavor. We're gonna take about a half a cup of fresh squeezed lemon juice. That smells good. All right, so now we're gonna reduce this down. Now all the little scrapies that were in the pan, we left them in there. Those are good. That's good stuff. Now we're going to come back with just a tad, yes, of your favorite hot sauce. You just gotta have boom, hot sauce, don't you? Boom, just a bit. So it does something. I don't okay. know what it is. And some more sister so sauce, some more sister sauce, more sister char. <laughs> tad of that. Okay. All right. After that has reduced just a hair, we're going to put one half cup Yum. of heavy whipping cream. No calories. That looks good. 
Look at that. And how about the butter? Must have no calories. Two sticks of butter? Wow, are you serious? Yep, and here's what we're gonna do, Mrs. Farmer, if you right. will. Take about one tablespoon at a time, we're just gonna start melting that in here. Okay. This is not rich and creamy or anything. No. It's a little bit at a time. Now we're gonna prepare some tomatoes. We're just gonna dice those real small for our final presentation here. All right, Nikki, if you will, a little more butter. Okay. Keep bringing that in. We're almost ready. Now we're gonna take these two pieces of fish right here. Dip, dip it in there. Do you there love it, Lisa? No, I like it. Did you get it? Yeah, it's really good. I'm surprised. Wow. You're surprised? Because I don't like fish. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try it, Nikki. It's been a while since we've had this. 